Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the next lesson here. This is going to be just a quick little rundown of how exactly you need to be position sizing every single trade you make every single day. No matter what, no excuses, this is exactly how it has to be done. Um, a lot of Forex traders don't really grasp or understand until later on in their career, and some never do, uh, that every trade you make with every pair and every different size stop loss is going to need a different position size a different lot size that you enter the trade with you're not going to just be entering a 0.25 or a one standard lot for every trade you make it it's inconsistent it doesn't make any sense you won't have the same size winners and losers um, it's really just setting yourself up for failure like I said this is a business that we need to take seriously we need to treat trading like it is a business of our own that we're running and in order to do that we need consistency we need um, to have everything done properly and by having a position size calculator for every trade you make you're making sure that you're risking the same amount with every trade to win consistently and to lose consistently so that you have um, better chances of success so basically I'm gonna run down real quick what position size calculator I use and I'll do a quick little mock of a trade to show you guys what I mean by this so if you just google position size calculator it'll come up as the first thing but my FX book has um, if you go under Forex calculators right here, you can see that my FX book has the, um, under the home tab here, Forex calculators, you go to the position size calculator. It has it all right here on my FX book's website. So it's simple and easy as can be. All you have to do is follow the parameters and then put your um, trade right here to it. Uh, the first thing you need to do though is determine the exact risk percentage of your account you are going to be risking per trade. and I cover this as part of developing your plan and everything, but you don't want to be risking anywhere near 4 or 5% is even too high in my opinion. I would start with 1% um, and then as you build a plan and start becoming more consistent, you can increase that 1% to maybe 2% or even 3%. I wouldn't go higher than 3% personally. I know some traders that do go a little bit higher, but um, to 2 to 3% two to risk per trade is recommended highly. I would do one to start, but uh, eventually two to three is a good consistent place to be. Um, what this means is if you have a um, thousand dollar account and you're risking three percent, you're risking thirty dollars a trade. So really what you're doing is keeping consistent you're going to have losing streaks in trading and you don't want to risk ten percent of your account and you go on a five five straight losing streak and there goes half your account. Do you know how long it takes to win back that 50% of your account you just lost now? Now that you have to win all those back just to get to where you started? You need to stay low with your risk to reward. And if you're if you're trading 2% um, risk per trade, then you you have a chance of winning 4% per win. 4% of an account in one single trade is huge returns. These 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 are returns that are really really drastic when you compound them over time and you have multiple trades and so the first thing you do is determine the amount of risk. I'm going to do 2% because it's safe and it's easy. What's count size? We'll just say $1,000 just to be safe. Right? So $1,000 account we'll say you're starting with. 2% risk. So every one trade you take, you're risking $20. Now, how you're going to go ahead and you, you can change what your base currency is of your Forex account. I'm going to have it set as US dollars because that's what I trade. So I'm going to have this mock trade here with the pound New Zealand. So first thing I do, I have a thousand dollar account. I want to risk two percent per trade. That's going to be standard. As your account size changes, let's see, you lose a trade and you go down, whatever that you change. But the two percent stays consistent with every single trade. There's no, oh, I feel better about this trade, so I'm going to do five percent, or oh, I don't really like this trade that much, I'm going to do one percent. You do two percent every single trade. If you don't feel good about a trade, you don't take it. You should absolutely think every trade you ever take is the best trade you ever made. So two percent stays consistent with every trade. Then, before you even think about what your position size is, you have to have a predetermined stop loss. The stop loss is, depends on where you're wrong in the market and pip value, not how much money you're willing to lose. That's not how you determine a stop loss. The position size calculator is how you determine that. So, with this trade, we have a stop loss of 59 pips. As you can see, stop 0 0.0059. That's 59 pips. Now, I'm just going to say 60 pips. I'm just going to round that to 60 pips. So, we're risking 60 pips. Right, we want to risk 2% of our account, and we have a $1,000 account. Now, the pair is the pound New Zealand. So I'm going to go down to the pound New Zealand. I'm going to pick it. I'm going to hit calculate. 
and this should calculate my what I want to trade. Sorry guys, I just had to switch over to a different position size calculator. This is with Baby Pips, uh, the website. It's the exact same concept though. For some reason, my FX books is just not working right now. It should be working though, so still go buy my FX books. Um, the only thing it didn't do there was calculate. So I'm using Baby Pips position size calculator. Same concept. We've got the thousand dollar account balance, two percent risk per trade. We have a 60 pip stop loss for this exact trade, and we're trading New Zealand pound, the pound New Zealand. Now this on Baby Pips asked me to input the current New Zealand dollar, U.S. dollar asking price. That's just what um, the uh, what they need to calculate this. FX book, my FX book has the live data on their site, so they have it already incorporated in, so you don't need to input that, which saves one extra input step. But this is the exact same thing. I just had to switch over to the to see the quotes over here, and it's at 68.70. So we did this and then you hit calculate and what it does here is for one it tells you the exact dollar value you'd risk in the trade which we already know 2% of a thousand is going to be $20. Then you've got the um, position size is going to be 4,852 units or a 0 .04. Now I'd round that up to a 0 .05 but that's the size position that you trade. A 0 .05 lot on a thousand dollar account per trade if you're risking 60 pips with this pair. Now this is different with every pair and um, it's different with every size stop loss which is why the, the these inputs will change and you have to continue to use this with every single trade you make because this 2% risk percentage of your portfolio right here is the part that we need to stay consistent. We need every single trade to be the exact same percentage of our capital at risk. It doesn't mean that we do the exact same position size no matter what pair we're trading or no matter what size of stop loss it is. Because look at how this changes if we're only trading a 40 pip stop loss. Now we're trading a 0.72 lot, a 0.07 lot, right? So that's a big difference. There's a big money value there difference if, if you traded the same position size with a 60 pip loss. But when we change it here, it's still $20 at risk. So you can risk a higher trade to trade with that much because you're 20 pips less. So essentially I just wanted to cover a quick breakdown for you guys of how exactly you should be inputting every single trade. You should never, ever, ever place a trade without first inputting it into this. This is also another filter to help you make sure you're not just trading out of boredom or greed. Input it into this, make sure you are consistent with your risk percentage and don't change your risk percentage. Like I said, if you start with 1%, do it until you have a month or two straight of consistency and then okay to two percent and then do that with every single trade don't jump all over the place don't bounce around because then you'll have a nice winner at one percent and then you have a loser at two percent and you'll lose all the money you just won back because you're you were trading a higher risk percentage so just stay consistent with it one to three percent to start I would stay at three percent when you're steady trading and uh, that's six percent win for one trade win six percent of your portfolio that's a lot of money when you're trading higher volume of money and when you're compounding your interest and your accounts growing consistently that is a ton of money so make sure you guys consistently use a um, position size calculator whether it be baby pips or my FX book position size calculator is huge and it is it literally you can if you want to be a professional trader you have to use this no questions asked there's no if ands or buts you must use this and every professional trader does and there's no way around that that's just how it must be done this used to be calculated very difficult but now we have these tools that allow us to do it super simply so every single trade goes through the position size calculator that is all thank you guys i'll see you in the next video